All right, here we go with number one. So some key things to, to remember, to keep in mind. We're basically going eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, quarter note the entire time. Excuse me. Um, that involves going down, up, up, down. So we're always switching between that. So down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. So, here we go. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, one, and, and three, four, and, and two, three, and, and one, two, and, and four, one, and, and three, four, and, and two. Under 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and, and 3, 4 and, and 2, 3 and, and 1, 2 and, and 4. 1 and, and 3, 4 and, and 2, 3 and, and 1, 2 and, and 4. 180. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's go to 200 for the repeats. One, two, and uh, I should say for the repeat. So if you if you didn't notice, there's no 4x up here. I feel that because of how long this is, two times through at the end to finish things off is totally fine. So just twice through, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number two. This one will have the four times uh, repeat at the end. So for number two and three, remember to keep in mind how because we have so few downstrokes being played, the multiple upstrokes in a row or the multiple upbeats in a row, it becomes very easy to drift in to the oncoming downbeat, so we gotta be very careful of that. So as always, if you doubt at any point you're playing it correct, assume it is wrong. You wanna be confident the entire time that you are like, yep, 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 I got it, nailed it, 100%, fantastic. And with that in mind, here we go. 60 bits per minute. Number two, one, and, and, and four, one, and, and, four, one, and, and, and four, one, and, and, and four, one, and, and, and four, done. 120. One, two, three, four, one, and, and, and four, one, and. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred for the repeats. One, two, one, two, three, four.
right, number three. So, uh, yeah, with that E5 chord, the thing I recommend was maybe just aim for those two strings. And eventually, you can focus more on all three. But with the finger, or if you end up looking like this when you're playing the chord, really good chance. Oh boy. Really good chance you're going to hit that extra note. But if it looks like this, really good chance you won't. So if you notice that this you know knuckle near uh, your fingernail is bent like that, it's not going to work. It's, it has to be bent the other way. So right there, all you hear are those three strings that you want to hear. Doing it like this, there's a lot more going on. So, just be careful of how the knuckle is bending. And just try and aiming for the low E and A string. And that alone could help make sure that E5 chord sounds the way we want. Here we go. 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 2 and, and, and 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 done. 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and, 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 done. 180, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. 200 for the repeats. One, two, one, two, three, four. So yeah, the recommendation I had for the uh, scale memorization uh, beyond the improvisation stuff. So make sure you watch that video. At least start watching it. I know it's almost an hour long, so it's quite a bit. But once you have your C Ionian shape memorized comfortably, then you start working on the D Dorian shape. When you have that down, you want to do both back to back. Then you start working on the E Phrygian shape. When you got that, then you go D Dorian to E Phrygian. When you have that, then you go C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian. And then down to the open E Phrygian. When you have that, then you go high octave E Phrygian to low E Phrygian. When you have those two, then you go D Dorian, high E Phrygian, open E Phrygian, and so on. Um, so I feel like doing it that way, that's really gonna make sure you got every single scale shape memorized quite well. 
no rush on getting those down. And uh, yeah, I think that about covers everything. So any questions come up, let me know. And I will see you again next week.